Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the Face Puppet tool in Crazy Talk Animator 3. So the Face Puppet tool is essentially a real-time animation tool where you can use your mouse movements to create some nice blended expressions uh, on your character's face. So let's get right into it. We have our front-facing male character on the screen right here. I'm going to go over to the Face Puppet tool right off the bat, which is over here. You can also use the Control u hotkey, and that'll bring up your Face Puppet panel. Now on the top left, you'll see a number of different facial animation profiles. And these each correspond with a number on your keyboard, all the way from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way through 0. Okay, and each one contains uh, a number of uh, face controls, a set of face controls. Now the face controls correspond to the Q, W for smiley, and an E for angry, R for sad, T for happy, and Y for scared. The QWERTY keys on your keyboard you can toggle between these uh, using those keys, even when you're in the midst of puppeting. All right, so let's take a look at a few of these. We have the facial animation profile, uh, selected the female one, select the Elastic Folks male since we have him on the screen. And if we press the space key, we can begin to preview what this will look like. You can see it'll create a crosshairs in the middle where our mouse originally was. And we can move our mouse cursor around that crosshairs to puppet our character and blend some nice facial animations into each other nice expressions, right? And we can select the next one, which is uh, Smiley right here. By the way, just press the space key to begin or uh, end previewing. There's a Smiley one. And over here is the Angry one. And when you're puppeting, you can use, you know, sudden jerky mouse movements like this to create, you know, more shocked type uh, movements, okay? So this is the Angry one. You go, Boom. What? Okay. And beyond that, we have the Sad one here. It's a very sad look and almost like the puppy dog eyes there. The uh, pupils will expand a little bit. And this one here is a smiley. This is one of my, or happy rather, this is one of my favorite ones. You can see we can create his, make his mouth really large. He seems very satisfied with himself. All right, and then we finally have the scared one down here. Okay, so if your character's nervous, you can kind of do a puppeting like this. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. All right, and keep in mind, like I mentioned, that each profile will have their strengths and weaknesses. So, for example, if we choose the happy profile for this Elastic Folks male, you can see if we move our mouse to the top, it'll have a nice satisfied expression like this. Very exaggerated. However, if we choose this youthful profile and we choose the same face control, notice that we'll have a much more subdued smile. Okay, so base your uh, animations on the type of character that you have on your screen. Again, this one's a much more subdued, so it's really up to you and the type of character that you're uh, animating. All right, so let's take a look at the solo feature selection now. Now, if you want to puppet parts of your face individually, you can do so by selecting this button right here and clearing the selection. And then you can select uh, parts one by one. This section right here on the forehead, if we click it, our preview button will become active. And we can press space to preview, and you can see that'll be like our inner brow basically we can move it up or down okay and if we deselect that we can select this one here this one will allow us to move both brows up and down simultaneously okay if you want to puppet each individual brow you can select that respective brow and move that individually as well pretty simple stuff and just deselect it to move on to the next one this one here between the eyebrows will allow you to if you go down, it'll allow you to, your character to blink. It's mainly used for squinting, but in this particular character, it'll look like he's blinking. An easier way to do blinking is actually to just choose any one of these and uh, preview. And you can actually click your mouse button to have your character blink as well. That's an easier and probably more recommended way to do it. All right, let's just uh, clear that. And the nose is also very subtle. Okay, so if we select the nose, it'll kind of just bring the eyebrows slightly together, just like this, kind of shrink them almost uh, together because this character is nose isn't moving, but if we select the nose flanks, like the nostrils right here, we can actually change that nose like a sniffing uh, action like that, all right? We can choose each nostril individually as well, all right? And then we also have the eyeballs. So if we select the eyeballs, whoops, just like this, we can move our character's eyeballs around uh, separately. And we also have these ones down here below the eyeballs, which are used to kind of bring your character's lower eyes up or the lower eyelids up and kind of make a smiley expression on the eyes there and it'll look different on each individual character i'm just kind of showing you on this one elastic folks character to kind of give you a, a, a glance a brief glance all right so we can also use the individual cheeks to create smiles or we can do them one by one create a nice little smirk there and bring it down for a frown okay 
This one in the middle here, this is used to kind of make your character smile or frown. If you move to the side, you can kind of have a, like a little bit of a side smile, like a smirk, almost like this, okay? So this one, you'll, you'll be able to pop it up, down, and to both sides as well. And the mouth one here, if we move that down, we can thin the lips just like this. And if we open it up, it'll actually change the sprite to a more O shape for the face, okay? So this is kind of making the lips part or purse close together. And beyond that, we have the chin. The chin, if we preview that, we can bring our chin, our character's uh, non-existent chin down. And you can see it'll create sort of a, ah, like if you open your, if you drop your chin, it'll create a sort of a shocked expression like that. All right, so those are the individual facial features. Beyond that, we also have head tilting and 3D head movement over here. So this is a rotate head right here. Let's select this one. We can preview and go from side to side. Nothing really happens if you go up and down, but from side to side, you'll have your character like this. And there's also 3D head rotation. Okay, so that'll be rotation like this. And you can combine those two as well to get some really cool artificial 3D rotation for your head. All right, so those are the individual facial features. Let's talk a little bit now about recording and blending motions together or expressions together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Elastic Folks Mail, and we're going to use the scared uh, profile here, the scared control. So what we're going to do is kind of have our character uh, cower in fear. And to do that, we need to go ahead and record now. So make sure you're at frame one, and then press the record button. And when you're ready to record, you can press the space button and record from there. So we're going to go ahead and press space, and we can have our character just like this, looking around nervously. Okay, and if you don't like the way that turned out, you can always go back to frame one on your timeline and just press control Z and undo that and then go back and record over again. So let's go ahead and press record and then, okay, so he's kind of nervously shaking like that. All right, so let's press F3 and go into our timeline and find out where that clip recorded to. So if we open up the, uh, with, with our characters track selected, if we open up the face section here, you'll see in the facial clip track, there is a puppet clip. And this is the puppet clip that we created for our character. All right, so we have some nice dynamic mouse movement there. Our character is cowering in fear, and it goes up to this point right here where the clip ends. Okay, so that's how easy it is to record a clip. Now, you can manipulate these clips in any way you want as well by, uh, you know, clicking them and right-clicking and breaking them. Say, for example, at the beginning, we have this part where it took me a while to transition my mouse movement to this expression right here. If I want to get rid of that, I can right click my clip and I can break it into two parts. And then I can take the first part and delete it and then click and drag my second part to the very beginning. And so it'll start like this now. Okay. So now if I press space, I can play that back and you can see uh, he's looking around nervously. Now what I want to do here is I want to blend another animation. I want to use my facial puppet tool again a second time to blend on top of that. And I'm going to uh, puppet solo features this time, and I'm going to blend over top of it. So what I'm going to do is clear the selection now, and while he's shaking in fear, we're going to use, we're going to select the two eyeballs, and we're going to have our eyes look, look around nervously like this. Okay? Now, before you do this, you want to make sure that you have blend data on next recording selected. If you don't have this selected, it's going to record over top of what you previously had, and all the previous information will be erased. Okay? So make sure you have blend data on next recording selected. So let's go ahead and press record. And when we're ready to go, we can kind of have our eyes look around nervously just like this. Okay. And you can see it extended a little bit longer because I didn't press space uh, in time. What will happen between here and here is it'll now just snap back up to the neutral expression. And if we want to get rid of that again, we can just go ahead, right click and delete. Oops. Not delete, sorry, control Z that. Right click and break rather. And take that second part and delete it. So now we have this separate expression. You can see our eyes looking around nervously like that. Okay. So it's really that easy. You can do a quick animation with a uh, uh, blending over top of one, one expression to another in a few seconds and kind of keep on adding stuff to that expression as you go along. If we wanted our eyebrows, for example, to be a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more turned upwards uh, to express more of the fear. We can do that as well. Let's do it one more time here. Go again. And this time we're going to select this uh, forehead one right here. And again, by doing this, we can make, we can exacerbate the fear by bringing the eyebrows up like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and record one more time. Again, again blend data on next recording. Let's press record. And okay, so now he's looking uh, a little bit more 
intimidated or a little bit more scared. Okay. So again, just blending on top of another, uh, each uh, round you go along there, you can blend on top of the previous expression and add more and more onto it as we go. Okay, so that's a, a good example there of how you can uh, blend uh, expressions together uh, called puppet layer blending. Let's talk a little bit now about advanced facial feature settings. So in your face puppet tool uh, panel, if we open it up again here, on the right hand side you'll see a button for advanced puppet settings. And let's go ahead and uh, take this puppet clip and we're going to delete this current one here and that'll create, uh, that'll give us a nice clean slate to work from. Now over here you'll see that there is a number of, there are a number of different uh, facial features and each of them are at zero right now. However, if we select a facial animation profile, like say it's this uh, angry one over here, notice that we have different numbers here for the weight of different features. If I preview this, notice for the anger, if we go all the way down, our eyebrows will go down almost below the pupils there. So it'll kind of take, it's a little bit too extreme. So say for example, we don't want the brows to be that extreme as they move down. What we can do is we can uh, manually adjust the weight of the brows here. So let's take brow right, for example, and just bring brow right down to zero. All right. So now if we uh, press space and preview, whoops, there we go. Notice that brow right will have a lot less movement than his left brow. Okay. So that's how you can really manipulate these uh, features individually. And if we take both the brows down, uh, take uh, brows down to zero here, notice that the right brow will now have no movement whatsoever. It'll only tilt uh, according to the inner brow movement, inner and outer brows is value right here, this 40 uh, uh, value right here. You can see him angrily looking over at the facial puppet panel anyways. All right, so uh, that's kind of how you can uh, manipulate each one of these features individually. And you can do uh, values such as the uh, the cheek and uh, the rotation and everything as well. It, uh, I tend to tone down the rotation a little bit in a lot of cases and uh, you know you can do uh, whatever works for you. Okay, so that's basically it for uh, it's a really brief introduction to the advanced puppet settings. Again, uh, it'll depend on different scenarios, uh, how you're creating your animation. And finally, let's talk about layering facial puppeting over lip syncing. All right. So what you can do is you can actually create an automatic lip sync and you can facial, you can facial puppet over top of that. Uh, let's make sure our character is selected there. There we go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a script over here. Uh, we're going to create a script and I'm going to use text to speech for our character to talk. Let's have him say something like, uh, Hey everyone, my name is Elastic Dude. Zero one, okay, <laughs> something generic, all right. And we'll use the voice mode for David. Press OK. Hey everyone, my name is Elastic Dude Zero One. Okay, and that created in the face track that created a Visine clip right here. And we'll talk more about that in a separate tutorial. But what hey, we can hey. do now is we can uh, puppet over top of that. So you can see as he's uh, as we're hey, moving hey, along hey. here. Um, by the way, if you're scrubbing everyone. through the timeline like this. My name. And you don't want to hear the voice. You can actually take this uh, voice volume all the way down if you don't want to hear it. And you can scrub through without having to hear that. Or you can go up to Edit Preferences. And in Preferences, you can deselect Timeline Audio Scrubbing to get rid of that as well. I'm going to keep it on for now. But let's go ahead and pop it over top of this. So currently, he's lip syncing with a neutral general expression. If we want to make him look a bit happier as he's doing that, well, we can go ahead in the face puppet tool again, and we can use, uh, let's take our character's cheeks. All right, so let's use the solo feature selection. Take the cheeks just like this, and if we go somewhere like this, take a look at what happens if we preview. You can see we can have our character's mouth just go up like that. All right, let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is keep blend data on next recording selected, and if I press record, and I move my mouse up to create a smile on my character's face, he'll say things and you can see the Visium shapes will be a little bit different for the mouth. All right, let's take a look. I record that. All right, so the whole time, we're just going to see the character smiling just like this. But after we play back, notice that right here, for example, his face is a lot more smiley. And every facial sprite with a smile on it looks a lot more smiley. Like this one, for example, looks a lot more smiley. All right, so that'll give him a more, uh, you know, friendly expression. And we can do the same thing with the eyebrows. So let's just take the eyebrows now and record over again. Let's blend over top of the previous example. Press record and, okay. So 
Now we have the eyebrows up like this. And if we play back now, all right, so a much happier and uh, more friendly expression. We can also add on top of that some head movement. All right, so let's go ahead and this time clear the selection, use some head movement and record one more time. And this time, let's bring the voice volume up so we can actually hear it this time. Okay, so here we press space here. Hey, everyone. My name is Elastic Dude one Okay, so we have him, you know, tilting his head in acknowledgement to, uh, to the audience. If we play this back. Hey, everyone. My name is Elastic Dude one All right, so much friendlier and uh, more amiable result from our character right there. So it's really easy to use the Face Puppet tool. Uh, just layer on top, keep on layering, blending the data on next recording, and you can create your own custom expressions in real time. It's really quick and easy to do. And there's lots of creative ways that you can use this tool to create quick and easy facial animations for your characters. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out our other facial animation tutorials, including face key editing and lip syncing, and our YouTube channel, and our, our forums as well at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.